Buongiorno. <laughs> Buongiorno. Good morning. Today we are in Italy. Italia. Italy. Italia. And we are going to do our excursion. Um, ooh, my hair is puffy. Um, just finished watching it. Um, we are going to go to, this is the La Spisa port, right? La Spisa, si, si for <laughs> So we're going to, um, <laughs> we're going to go to Pisa, we're going to see the David, which will be great. I don't know Girl, if- that's in, the, that's in Florence, that's in Florence. Two. All right, so we're going to go on an excursion. We're going to go to Pisa in Florence. We're going to see the David. It'll be really nice. Um, but yeah, welcome to Italy. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> that follows contribution to this vlog all day. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. I don't know, you can see um, in the background and on this side, because we just stopped is like a bunch of cargo stuff, but, or the terminal. Um, yeah, so it is a beautiful. All right, we'll see you on our next adventure. So when larger ships dock, they dock further away. So we have to take like a little bus to get to the port. I chose not to book this excursion through Royal Caribbean, but a small third party company because I wanted it to be more intimate and to have time to see everything that I wanted to see. So follow along if that is something that you're interested in. All right, so we just got to the cruise terminal and we are now with our small tour group. There's only two, four, six, eight. Yeah, there's only eight of us. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I like small groups um, and now we are going to take our shuttle bus to go into Pisa. Cruise port in Las Pisa is actually an hour away from anything that you would want to see in Italy, whether it's Florence or Pisa. So you do have to take quite a ride. Um, we had a great guide that showed us everything. Here you can see the uh, Dolomite Mountains where uh, they make marble from and you know ship it all over the world that was pretty great and then you can see the countryside. We had a great time just riding but it was a pretty long ride. The new town, the new seat of Florence. Now, in a few minutes, we'll enter in the into the old town. We make a little tour before to go to meet the, the guide. We finally got to Florence and the great thing about this specific tour is that our driver dropped us off right outside um, the building for the Statue of David and we did not have to wait in any type of line at all. There were people waiting for hours in different lines and it was super crowded on the street. However, we just got these blue little badges, went through security and we were ready to see it. It was pretty crowded, but um, we did have headphones on that allowed the guide to speak to us and to explain, you know, what we were seeing and what was going on. And there's the Statue of David.
δώσε μια δαντό. We got to spend a lot of time exploring and just this is our first time in Europe guys so the tapestry, the architecture, the paintings, everything was just breathtaking everywhere we looked. Um, you can see a little bit of the crowd here however I would say this is only 10 to 15 percent of the amount of crowd that you would get if you go in the late summer months. We chose to go in late March early April which was good the weather was good a little breeze and it just was not as crowded as all. So that's what I would recommend. And here is the river in Florence. Um, it was nice to see it from the bridge. However, I expected the water to be more blue for some reason, um, but it was a nice view. Paulo and I then got some free time away from our small group. Here you can see the Golden River, which is the go-to place if you are looking for gold or any other type of jewelry in the area. We ended up having about an hour, so we decided we wanted to eat some authentic food there, so we settled on a nice little restaurant. We just finished with the first part of the tour here in Florence. Um, I am sitting at a restaurant, wanted to get something to eat. The tour is pretty long and lengthy. We did see the Statue of David, and then we walked around quite a bit. Um, so now we're hungry, so we're gonna eat. And then we have about 30 minutes before we can meet everyone else with the van. The next part of the tour, we will go to Pisa, and of course see the Leaning Tower in Pisa. The food was good, the service was quick, which really helped because we didn't want to be late meeting our um, other companions. And of course, Paolo had to stop and get gelato, so we ended up doing that. Invented in Florence 500 years ago. It was about another 30 to 45 minute drive to Pisa to see the Statue of Pisa. I will say, all we did here was see the statue of Pisa and take some pictures. It was nice. It was great. Uh, one of those things to cross off the bucket list, but not much else to do here. And before you know it, we're back on our way to the cruise port. Overall, this excursion took us about a good amount of time, pretty much most of the day because of the driving involved between the two sites, but I would not have chosen it any other way. It guaranteed to get us back on the ship in time, which is most important. There were people from other excursions that did not make it to the ship in time and had to take um, a taxi and stay in a hotel in Europe and catch back up with us. And if you follow our cruise vlogs, you know we love So to tonight so we, we are nice dining at 150 Central Park. You can see it in the background. We usually get these like cute little peanut egg shaped <laughs> chairs. Um, yeah, we got back onto the ship around, what time would you say we arrived? Six? About six. We were a little tired, so we just uh, took a shower, but that's when we finished all of that. Um, we're now, <laughs> we, by the time we finished all of that, we decided to push our uh, dinner reservation up from nine to 7.45ish, or whenever we just walked in here. And they were able to do that for us, because um, we just didn't know what time we'd get back on the ship. So we're going to eat and I will show you what we get.
probably gonna be the duck duo, the lobster thermidor, and then yeah. Thank you.